Today, the Elder Kai quite literally gives Yamcha a solid. Prepare yourself, Dan Saiyan. Smash that like button and if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications. That way you never miss a video. If Marin turns out to be anything like her mother, and Krillin's in for some real trouble. What? N nothing I said nothing. All right, let's do this. <laughs> that is about as much interaction Yamcha and Android 18 actually get in Dragon Ball, but it is a little bit different in Dragon Ball Multiverse. Now, most of you guys are familiar with the storyline where Yamcha versus 18 and he comes from a multiverse world where androids are essentially the norm. Yamcha is an android and he has harnessed not only the android part to its fullest extent, but also his human part, his earthling part, and he's mixed them both together and now he he is extremely powerful, so powerful that he is far stronger than Android 18, which is from the Future Trunks timeline. So a lot of you guys have already seen this before, but I have two bonus secret chapters that you may not be aware of, two add-ons per se, to this little story that gives a little bit more flesh to the relationship between Yamcha and Android 18 because in a Dragon Ball multiverse, we really didn't get much of anything. Now, before I get into these two secret chapters, I'm gonna go through the actual fight itself relatively quickly because I actually have never talked about this fight on this channel and there is a lot to unpack here. So, the quickest recap of this fight is this reenactment by Dragon Ball Fighters. That's surprising. That's essentially what happens. Yamcha dominates 18, but if we dig a little deeper, we're gonna find more sauce into this relationship and the possibilities that it could have actually gone because again, Dragon Ball Multiverse doesn't really give us much on this. As of now, Dragon Ball Multiverse is still ongoing, so they could honestly give us a whole chapter dedicated to these two characters together, but again, we'll see exactly if that happens. As soon as the fight begins, Yamcha doesn't want to fight because Android 18 is a woman and relatively quickly without any real skill, Android 18 attacks Yamcha who easily dodges the attack and Yamcha realizes that not only is her name a number but she didn't have any energy or any key signature when she did attack so he quite quickly gets in her face and realizes that she is an android. Yamcha takes pity on Android 18 because of the fact that he says she has even even lost all recollection of her past life because her name is a number and he actually wants to reach out and help her but remember this is android 18 from the future trunk saga like these are broken androids essentially they've been murdering and killing for years now so she gets pissed off and attacks him with a double-handed attack and with an onslaught of attacks 18 says she doesn't need the help from anybody but Yamcha slips right behind her and tells her that she regrets all the massacres and all the killing and she is suffering deeply and he can empathize with that because his number was number 17. He is also a cyborg and 18 is just not having any of his help. Now this is where we get into something extremely interesting and why the androids have so much potential, why 17 has so much power in Dragon Ball Super, and that is what Yamcha is telling Android 18 here, that his technique is far superior to Android 18. He's an actual fighter. Android 18 and 17 are an actual martial artist. They're just basically killing machines. They just kill and they're brawlers. That's essentially it. There's no technique there. Well, Yamcha has trained his entire life 
fighting and he's also pushed the limits of not only his android self but he's pushed his body past its limits so they are miles apart when it comes to the strength level and this is where we're gonna get to our first secret bonus chapter for this fight it is a extended cut to what actually ended up happening and this one has the luxury of being colored and that is Tian prophesizing that Android 18's power is decreasing and Yamcha will win and he sees that Krillin old man Krillin is kind of sad he's kind of down to the dumps and as Yamcha fights 18 we see how Krillin is envious of Yamcha and he's envious because he wants to jump into the ring and he wishes that he can fight a cute girl too and it's not fair leaving Tian speechless and of course Yamcha is lucky he gets to fight 18 Krillin is still probably having some feelings toward 18 even though they're from different multiverses or whatever and so he would like to jump in and take a crack at her I'm sure he would but no this is Yamcha's fight so going back to the main fight Yamcha is completely overwhelming 18 and his logic is actually very sound and that is that there is no infinite energy for these androids stamina is infinite but no energy so they are wearing down every day their bodies are wearing down and without maintenance and checkups and just everything that's needed for a machine to function properly they get weaker and weaker with time and this is a revelation that even 17 from her universe isn't aware of as of this point so right now they do need Yamcha's help or else they're just gonna get weaker and weaker and then deteriorate there's no infinite life for them without maintenance and that's when Yamcha hops on 18 and he's got her dead to rights even though she's yelling that he won't win the match but Yamcha literally just wants to help her and then he throws the match and Yamcha shows 18 that there is a better way he's not there to win the tournament he's just there to save them and he says as much and Krillin even says right here this sucker fell for her beautiful eyes how naive so yeah the story that continues to come from Krillin's perspective is that he's still into 18 and 18 has got a lot of thinking to do because he gave her a lot of food for thought and Yamcha says that he's going to save these two lost souls so now let's get into the last secret bonus chapter Krillin admires that Yamcha wants to help 18 but he doesn't seem so sure that the androids from the other universe are actually going to change but Yamcha thinks that that, yeah they will take them up on the offer and 18 thinks to herself that he is really really strong for an android and his offer may actually be useful and she thinks it's weird because in her universe he's a weak human being now he's much much stronger than her so whatever he's doing must be right Yamcha continues to explain to Krillin that it would be useful for them to gain all the knowledge that Yamcha has and then maybe they'll be grateful and they won't actually turn their attention to destruction which I mean he is playing a gambit here because of the fact that these androids aren't like good guys not yet anyway so if he makes them stronger they could actually become more destructive across the universe instead of just planet earth but 18 takes him up on his offer she actually walks back to to him and says that since he's one of them that she actually believes that his proposal will be useful and as she walks towards Yamcha the Elder Kai puts out his foot and trips Android 18. To Krillin and Yamcha's shock 18 collapses and falls right on top of Yamcha with Yamcha saying it was an accident and 18 quickly even though she was blushing she quickly removed herself from on top of Yamcha and says you idiot and with 18 embarrassed and running away Yamcha says hold, hold on 18 are you serious about the offer do you want my help and she basically says yes I would like your help but we will talk about it later and Yamcha says that he will always be there waiting for them to talk and the elder Kai's like love is in the air he 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 and it looks like that's a direction the secret direction that the Dragon Ball multiverse team wants this to go they want 18 and cyborg Yamcha to hook up together and I think that that would be a great chapter in and of itself I can't wait to see that anyway guys thank you so much for getting to this point in the video you guys are awesome and don't forget to drop hashtag early video squad for a chance to be given a shout out in my next video today I'm gonna to be responding to Dragon Ball Super 619 I seriously don't know why I leave long comments I like long comments they usually have a lot of useful information and things that I've never thought of before for Goku's dark secret in my opinion could possibly be one of these two 
Goku's heart virus medicine cure vaccine wearing off like an immunization shot or something and Goku possibly recontracted the heart virus. I'm not too sure. Goku died about a little over half a year after getting better from coming out the Rosat. Maybe his time didn't pass for his body and after he came back to life, time begun to flow for his body and after perhaps 16 years, the effectiveness of the cure ceased. I don't like that one particularly because it would be such a stretch. I mean, he died. I figure if he comes back, he'd be working with a clean slate and then you come back and then you're still like terminally ill. That would be just so depressing. Number two, an after effect of constantly using Super Saiyan 3. Super Saiyan 3 is known as a life sapper and it requires an absurd amount of both key. I think that one more than likely is the most logical answer, but it could honestly be something that we not even even privy to right now we don't even know what it is it could be something secret obviously that's the title to the next chapter thank you so much for your comment dragon ball 619 this is going to be black scape signing off take care guys Drop that heat. Subscribe for more content.